Hey everyone, I hope you're well and welcome back. For today's video, I thought we'd do a kind of like full face of favourites. I've seen this going around recently and I do have products that I will use every day and I know they're going to work. So I thought I'd show you guys. A lot of them you've probably seen before. Um, I apologise for no video last week. I had a really bad migraine. Well, I had a headache for the whole week. Then I just kept getting migraines and I was supposed to film on Monday then I had a migraine. So it's actually Wednesday. Today's Wednesday and I'm uploading and filming this on a Wednesday. It's currently two o'clock. So I've got four hours to film this, edit it and upload it. Call me crazy, but it's the only day I haven't had a migraine. So I'm gonna film that for you today. I'm not feeling too great. So if I don't, if I seem off, that's why. That's why I've got my energy drink to get me in the spirit. But I've already done my eyebrows and prepped my eyelids. I used, I actually used a pair of soap for my eyebrows today. And then my uh, foolproof brow powder. Yeah, foolproof brow, oh my goodness. Foolproof brow powder from Benefit. This is in a shade five, which I believe is the darkest one they have. But I was feeling something different with my eyebrows. So I went for the fluffy kind of brows, soap brows. I do need to invest in like a brow. What do they call them now, glue? I feel like I need to invest in one of them. But we're gonna start off with the eyes as always i don't really have a palette i've been like particularly loving because i've been trying to kind of use all of them because i have a lot of palettes and i hardly ever use them but for today i'm going to use the beauty bay nude mattes palette i love this palette you guys know that if you've seen any of my previous videos you will have seen me use this about four thousand times it's great i don't know how i haven't haven't hit pan but um loads of neutral shades um literally everything you could need there's warm tones there's cool tones not too many cool tones actually you've got the grey at the bottom um and the black but all round great palette they're all matte as the name suggests but um yeah just a really nice palette they blend nicely they sit nice on the eyes i'm taking the second shade here which is called bare necessity and i'm just going to start that on my outer corner i want to do quite like a winged look today nothing okay so i had a change of plans i've done one eye off camera just so you can see what ki what kind of look we're going for i was going to do it on camera but i got a bit camera shy because i didn't know what i wanted to do <laughs> so i've gone for this um very natural but smoky at the same time um which i kind of like it's kind of like you could wear this in the daytime but you could also wear it at night so i'm starting off with the second shade in the palette which is called bare necessity and I'm blending that on my outer corner just to create a kind of transition set shade. I hope you can see this. Yeah, you can. Just to create a transition just so we can build up the colours from here. And I'm just starting to wing that out just so, again, we have a base colour um, that we can work with. I'm then going to move on to the shade Cinnamon, which is this one here. Oh, you can't see. This one here. And again, on the outer corner, there's not really much product on it in the corner of my eye on the other eye, as you can probably see. So I'm keeping it very directed towards the outer corner. Remembering to pull it out so we get that winged effect. And then taking this shade here, which is called Throwback. This is a darker, more ready colour. Again, focusing it on the outer corner. You can kind of make this as natural or as smoky as you want. I think I'm going for somewhere in between. Just because I think it's wearable but also dressy as well, if that makes sense. And then going in with the shade Slow Motion, which you can't see, but it's a dark brown. And keeping that very, very close to the outer corner of my eye. I'm then taking a really, really tiny angle brush. I'm going to take the shade After Dark, which is this dark colour here. And mixing it with the shade Cinnamon, which we used before. And I'm going to stamp this on my lash line. Probably the outer third. And I'm just stamping that. And then a bit more. And then create a tiny, tiny wing. And I mean, I mean small, small. Because I'm going to blend it out. So like really, really, really small. And then small. Oh, that nearly went. Oh, small fluffy brush just to blend the edges of that out. Oh, 
One of my eyes always looks better than the other. I've just applied some wing liner off camera just to zhuzh it up a little bit. Um, this is my favourite wing liner at the minute. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Fine Point Eye Pen. Very fine point. Um, I love it. Super black. Um, fine point. It's easy to use. It's not hard. I know some like eyeliner pens like wiggle when you're trying to put them on and that one doesn't and I love it. The mascara I'm actually going to use is the Urban Decay Perversion as well. I love this mascara. Um, lift your lashes without clumping them. I don't mind a clumpy mascara, but this one just adds length and volume without being clumpy. Like, look at the difference. One coat. Oh, I've just got on my eye though. I'll clean that up in a minute. I was going to add lashes today, but I quite like it without. Not too sure. I think I'm going to leave it at just mascara for now and if I want to add lashes at the end I will. Now let's do skin. Now I haven't prepped or primed my skin yet. I'm going to use my skincare products that I always use and just show you how I do my skincare. This is the, the Ordinary Niacinamide. I'm just going to take five drops of that. And then rub that into my skin. This is so good. Now I don't know what it is about it but every ever since I started using this. My skin just feels so hydrated and I feel like it prevents breakouts. Now I am breaking out right now but that's because I've just changed my pill because of my migraines but insane product. I'm now going to use the hyaluronic acid while my skin is still a bit wet just because hyaluronic acid works better when your base is kind of like damp, not like wet but damp. Taking that down my neck. You can also put hyaluronic acid on your lips. I'm not going to today. <laughs> I used to do that before bed though. Now I'm going to use this moisturiser. This is the L'Oreal Hydrogenous Aloe Water. If you've watched my channel for a long time, you would have actually seen this. I used to love this and I recently bought a new bottle. And I'm reminded why I love it. I actually took it to um, Magaluf with me. And it pretty much saved my skin. Because I don't know what happened to my skin. But I'm pretty sure I was having an allergic reaction. And all my skin dried out. Like my whole face was dry. And it just looked so textured. And this saved the day. Now to get on into the favourites. Obviously I've done my favourite mascara and eyeliner. And I'm going to show you my favourite skin products now. The foundation I've been reaching for lately is actually a very affordable one. This is the Ordinary Serum Foundation. Mine is in the shade 2.0P. Um, I just really, really like it. I think it sits nicely on a skin. It's not too much coverage, but it has enough. Um, and also, they have such a wide range of like colours, skin tones, like undertones, like pink, yellow, neutral. You know how it goes. But it's just so amazing, so lightweight on the skin. I literally don't feel it. Does it last as long as some of my old foundations? Probably not. But is it great and does it last me like for the length of time I want it to last? Yeah. I really like it. I believe it's 5 95 Don't quote me on that though. But it's just super lightweight. Um, it covers what I want it to cover. Um, but not cakey. I'm having to take down my neck a little bit because my face isn't as tanned as the rest of my body. But yeah, I really, 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 really like it. They also have a coverage foundation. I have got that, but it's too dark for me. Um, somehow, I bought the wrong colour. Don't ask me how, because I literally had this one sitting next to me. I don't even know what shade the other one's in. But um, I, yeah, ordered the wrong colour. Like a silly girl. But I have used the coverage one before. Very nice. It's thicker for sure. But more coverage. Lasts longer. 
everything you'd expect from a higher coverage foundation that one has at the same price as well the concealer i've been loving is the chanel le corrector de chanel i wish i could say that in a proper accent but i really really like this concealer it's the perfect kind of yellow undertone that i like underneath my eyes and to highlight i don't really like pink tones on my skin i prefer a yellow tone um over any kind of other undertone um i'm just putting that in all the places i want to highlight also up here you see that foundation has covered like the majority of these spots they're not like active by the way they are dried out so i can use my concealer brush on them and then i'm just gonna tap that all out really good concealer glowy coverage is there probably pricey i'm not actually too sure how much it is but it's chanel so you'd kind of expect it um but yeah really good all over concealer just look at the coverage it's insane and i'm taking that right underneath where i've done my eyeshadow just to again enhance that line and lift the face I am going to smoke up this eye look a bit more, I think. I think I want quite smoky today. I'm actually not going anywhere. But I really want like a really smoky like, under eye, like black liner in my waterline. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. My nose ring is falling out like it does every video. Guys, I'm going to DBU tomorrow. I'm very excited. I'm hoping I feel well. So I can actually enjoy myself. But I'll just get a couple drinks down me and I'm sure I'll be fine. Oh my gosh, have you seen that new, um, what is it, AU Vodka? It's the bubblegum one. It goes from, what was it, is it blue or pink? I think it goes from pink to purple. Or from blue to purple, I can't remember, but insane. I haven't tried it yet, but um, I have bought a bottle. So I'll probably drink that tomorrow and I'll let you know how it is if you're over the age of 18. The combo of those two products is just amazing. Like, it makes your skin look so glowing. Like at the beginning of the video, my skin looked dull. Like dull, you could probably see through me. But the combination, incredible. I'm just gonna zoom you in on the skin just so you can see uh, the coverage of the foundation. As you can see, it's not like super duper high coverage, but it has enough, a uh, very glowy, I don't really have much else to say about it. Cheerful. No, cheap and cheerful. I really like it. I didn't prime my skin. Um, the primer I've been loving is the Figs and Rouge Satin Soft Blur and Primer. I really, really like this. It's like a moisturiser gel, but the way it makes your skin feel like and look, it looks like glass. And if you want that underneath your makeup, and I know I do, I haven't used it today, but yeah, insane. I'm pretty sure I got it in um, the Glossy Box Advent Calendar. No, I got it in a Glossy Box. So it says it's a blur and primer, satin soft blur and primer, fixes foundation and finishes complexion for complete matte perfection. I don't think it's matte whatsoever. Um, it says micro, oh, it's silicone free. Quid liquid blotting finishing complexion. Maybe you can put this on after. Moisturize before application. Using a small piece size amount, pat primer evenly onto T zone and across cheeks. Wait a few seconds and apply makeup. Alternatively, use over makeup by pressing product lightly onto the skin to stay freshly flawless. Should we try it? No, I'm a bit scared. Moving on, uh, the contour stick I'm going to use will come as no surprise to any of you. This is the Primark My Perfect Colour Foundation and Contour Stick. It's in the shade Chai. I bought another one the other day. I saw it and I just know when I go in there, I can never find it. So I picked up another one, even though <laughs> I've still got a lot left of this one. Um, but you literally cannot go wrong. Like literally incredible product. Primark, £2.50. Incredible. I'm just putting a bit under my chin, but not too much. I've also seen this hack where people keep going like this in their, with their contour. Should I try a bit like down here? 
I don't really like not trying new things. <laughs> I look crazy. <sighs> the Real Techniques Expert Finish Brush. I'm going to blend my forehead first. I don't really care about keeping my forehead precise because the bronze, the more bronze, the more contoured, the better. But obviously with my cheeks, I like to keep it more defined. Look at the colour and how quickly did that blend. £2.50, Primark. Chai, shade Chai. I like this shade because it's not too warm. It's not too ready toned. Um, so it does contour. I put way too much on. Okay, let me get where's where my foundation. Just tap this out of it. Yeah, you don't need a lot. Um, <laughs> um, okay. I can see why people do this. Have I done it wrong? Probably. Should I have brought my contour lower to be able to do that? Probably. But do I like my contour high? Absolutely. Um, I'm going to try this on the other side. Oh, guys, I've cut my hair. <laughs> I was supposed to say that at the beginning of the video. But I cut my hair off. It feels amazing and I love it. I've had my hair short before. But, like, right now, I'm feeling it. Like, I just walked into the hairdressers, yeah, and I had an appointment. I booked it the day before. And usually, she's very, very booked. And she was like, yeah, like, I can squeeze you in here, but you might have to wait for a little bit. And I was like, it's fine. No problem at all. So I walked in and I was like, I'm going to cut my hair off. And she was like, no. She said, you do this every time. She said, you're not going to cut it off. No, I said, I think I actually am. She said, oh, really? And I was like, yeah. I've been going to my hair just for six years, by the way. Um, and she was like, okay, I'm going to put your toner just up to here. She said, if I just put it there, there's no going back. And I was like, yeah, do it. So I put my toner just to where we were going to cut, a bit below just in case, so we had some room to wiggle, but yeah, I love it, do I regret it, absolutely not, is it going to grow back, yeah, am I going to cut it next time I go, probably, I just quite like the short, it's so easy, it took me like 5 minutes to blow dry yesterday, 5 minutes to wash, and usually my hair takes about 45 minutes to all that, um, my camera decided to die, so I've been sitting here for about an hour, so I finished off my eyes. I've literally just added a pencil, which is this one here. It's the Lord and Berry pencil. It's the antique bronze eye pencil. So it's bronze, I just put that in my waterline. Then I used the colours that I used on my eyes underneath. And I also put a black just to join it up with the wing. And I also put lashes on. Just like really tiny, like probably not even half, probably quarter lashes. Just to zhuzh it up a bit. I was feeling it today. But I also powdered because otherwise I was going to crease and it wouldn't have been pretty and I probably would have had to start again. So I powdered. I used my favourite powder at the minute, which I now can't find because my desk is a mess. I used my Huda Beauty powder in banana bread. The lid's not properly and I don't want to drop it. But we're going to finish this off now. I'm going to use my favourite cream blush at the minute. It's tiny, tiny, tiny. But this is the M. Chloe Beauty Chip. Cheap chip, chip, <laughs> cheek and lip tint. I'm loving this at the minute. Tiny bit, I just got it on my hand. Tiny bit goes a really long way. It's a really pretty, kind of like ready pinky color. I wouldn't exactly call it magenta, but it's beautiful. Now that's probably too much, but it will do for now. Um, I also had this on my lips the other day, and I feel like because it's the same color as my blush, it ties in so much nicer. Which of course makes sense. But on the lips it's so beautiful as well. And it's not... It's quite oily to be fair. Like for a cheek product it's quite oily. But it's not oily on my skin. But oily on my lips. But it feels really nice. Like really hydrating. And the colour payoff is nice as well. Like it's not too red. Not too pink. It's quite sheer on the lips. But stunning. So nice. Um, I don't actually know where I got this from. But... The brand is M. Kai Beauty. Uh, Cut on my face. This one here. Also, the lighting has changed dramatically because it's actually getting dark outside. That's how long I've had to wait for this camera to charge. Had a mini party, played some music. It was quite nice actually. But I did have to do a bit of makeup because otherwise everything would have fell off my face. Oh, another product I used. If I can find the thing. Um. 
Did I put it back in my drawer? Yeah. This is the Becca. I can't see it because the thing's metallic. It's called a Shimmering Skin Perfector. Slim Light. I don't know what the colour is. I don't think it has a colour. I don't know. But it's basically like a highlighter pen. And what I've done is I put it in the inner corners of my eye and underneath my brow and a tiny bit on my nose. Really, really nice. I like a cream highlight, but sometimes I think they don't perform. This one performs. Very nice. I got it in TK Maxx. I'm pretty sure it was £8. But really, really nice if you can get your hands on that. Next, we need to do powdered cheek products. Now, I have... I have been using a new kind of palette. I'm pretty sure I got this in my glossy box advent calendar last year as well. This is the Wonder Beauty Trip for Two Blush and Bronzer Duo. It's really pretty. They look really light um, in the pan. They look they come on up darker on camera actually, but they're really pretty. Like the shimmer in the bronze is really subtle and it makes your skin look really healthy. And the blush is just it's a really nice blush. So I'm gonna use the bronzer first. The pigment in this, by the way, is really strong, so you really don't need a lot. I prefer to start off with a little bit and build it up, just because then I have a bit more control. Because I applied it one day and I had this massive line down my face, and I was like, well, what's going on? Because it looks really light in the packaging, you'd think it pays off light on the skin. You don't know how wrong I was about that. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this product. I'm not sure on the price range. Um, for reference, I have like combination oily skin. Most of the time my skin's normal. Actually, no, that's a lie. Most of the time my skin's kind of like oily. Not like oily oily, but you can see it. If I don't powder, I look like my face is wet. So I would say over the years my skin has developed into a bit of an oily mess really. When I don't have makeup on, you can't really see it. But when I've got makeup on, that's when you really, really see it. That's why I have to powder. And that's why I take my time powdering. Because I feel like if I don't, I just end up, my makeup's going to slip off my face. Because my face is that oily. I've just taken the blush as well. I don't know if this has a shade. Maybe it's just called Trip for Two. Um, but I've just used the blush as well. You see how pretty that pink is? It's like a perfect, like, pinky nude. Really, really like that. The highlight. Um, I've actually been using a few recently. I really like the Illamasqua one. Um, can I remember the name of it? Absolutely not. I don't know where it is actually. Oh, here. <coughs> Joked. Um, this is the Illamasqua Beyond Powder Highlighter in, oh my god, it's called OMG. Um, it's stunning, but I also really, really love this palette for blush and highlight. So it's the Orgasm X palette from NARS, but look at the highlight. And I'm feeling the gold tone with the kind of bronzy tones I'm, I'm speechless every time I apply this speechless I do keep it more towards the back of my face because I just find it's more flattering at the back rather than having it on the front I like to be able to like turn my face and then people see it rather than it being like on my cheeks find that sometimes with a lot a lot of highlighters especially with powder on your skin you get um the cast I don't find it with this you will actually show you for the sake of the video with this one you don't no, actually that looks pretty stunning to be fair i'm gonna put some more of that on my cheeks like the apple yeah give it all to me i also put it above my brow bone just makes your skin look like glass like actual glass like is it normal for a product to be this good i'm not too sure but it is so i'm gonna roll with it I've already powdered, so now I'm going to go with a setting spray just to melt that all in together. I'm going to use my Airbrush Flawless setting spray. I really, really like this. Keeps my makeup in. It smells incredible. I've seen a few TikToks from people saying it smells weird. I think it smells really nice. So I don't know if I'm just weird and people think it smells weird. And it actually smells weird or I'm normal and it smells nice. I don't know, maybe they've got like a weird batch. I don't know. I think it smells nice and I've had it for a while now. I'm just going to set my face. Why is it not working? There we go. Just also adds a bit of hydration back into the skin, which we love. <laughs> I'm gonna repowder by the way, because as I said, oily skin problems. Another trick I like to do actually, I take my beauty blender, and in all the places my makeup moves, like around my nose, around my mouth, I actually pat the setting spray in, so it kind of like mixes with everything on my skin and it just creates 
another barrier, if that makes sense. Oh, such a nice setting spray. It adds a glow back and it just makes you look airbrushed. Like I've not got a face filter on right now. I'm gonna add a tad bit more powder. Not a lot, not as much as I put on the first time I put powder, but just enough to kind of set it in place and make sure that this isn't gonna move. I'm gonna take my beauty blender actually, just cause it picks up any excess product. this is my favorite favorite lip combo is probably my iconic london um no it's not called iconic london it's called iconic nude um it's the charlotte tilbury lip pencil lip cheat but i just found i've sharpened it and the actual things come out so i'm gonna attempt to line my lips but this might not go too well it's like breaking like it's that creamy it's breaking isn't going very well guys <sighs> I don't know what's going on here I, I don't know I never thought I'd say this but it's almost like it's too creamy it's a bit weird to say really isn't it it's doing the job nonetheless it just looks a bit messy I'm gonna blend it down with my finger See, it's falling off. Should I sharpen it down to the next layer? Okay, yeah, this is definitely better. It feels a bit more tough. I think what happened there is I'd uh, sharpened it down too far. <laughs> Apologies, guys. I'm gonna take like a tiny little lip pencil just to blend that a bit. Get rid of any harsh lines before I put the gloss on. Okay, a bit better. Well, I'll blend it with lip gloss anyway. If you have not tried a Revolution lip gloss, you're not doing it right, okay? This is a lip oil and it smells incredible. It smells like cherries and it's got like all sorts of oil in it oh here we go contains cherry raspberry and jojoba oil incredible the shine speaks for itself i don't even need to say anymore incredible incredible cheap so cheap and it's just insane that is all of my current favourites for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do make sure to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you very, very soon with another video. Bye, guys.